Hello again, this is Jasmina. In this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of having a definitive facing direction. Houses that do not have definitive facing directions do not have stable flying star charts. Oftentimes, they don't have stable purple white charts and also chi men charts. And these is the real heart of the things that we manipulate and consider when we're trying to improve your feng shui. Without having a definitive facing direction, it is very hard for us to improve the feng shui of your house. And the reason is adjacent charts on the compass are often very, very different. The red lines here indicate the facing directions or the angles where you will not have a definitive facing direction. These lines are the angles between face, um, flying star charts that look very different. Of course, this one looks different than this one, but you're, you're not going to have to choose between these two. It's only between this one and this one, or this one and this one, that kind of thing. These are the actual angles but you do not want to use a compass because they simply are not accurate enough. There are better ways to do it, and that's what I do, but you might want to wonder how close can you be and still be safe, that is, you still have a definitive facing direction. Google Maps and surveys use something called the UTM grid, and I talk more about the UTM grid in my why I use True North video. For if I have your floor plan and your site plan, and I can usually pretty easily find your latitude and longitude, I am not worried unless you are closer than one quarter of a degree, because these things here are extremely accurate. But with Google Maps, and in most of the United States, and it varies other places it's but it's usually somewhere between one and a half to two degrees is the maximum you could be off and there are times when you'll be very very close it it's a bit complicated and uh, you can actually read more about this if you really want to understand it but I will do this for you you don't have to if you use a compass, you can easily be off by 15 degrees in certain areas in the United States, and it's even worse than some other places. So this is why I do not use a compass. I'm not going to be asking you to find a facing direction, but I'm just giving you this so that maybe you can ease your mind that you have a definitive facing direction. So I'm assuming there's a road up here and that there are houses on each side of these houses and there's houses in back. So all the chi really comes in from the road because that's the most open area. So the wall, the, the wall of the house that faces the road, it doesn't have to perfectly face it, but basically in the direction of the road, that is the facing wall. And the facing wall is what defines the facing direction, and it's perpendicular to the facing wall. And it doesn't matter where your door is, it can point a different direction, or it can point in the same direction, it's okay. But once you have this, that you basically know, you know which of the walls you wanna look at. And if all your walls are 90 degrees, this is a good enough job, because if this is in a definitive facing direction, so will all these other directions be definitive. So you go to Google Maps and you do a satellite view. You print out the map. You want to be close enough that you can pick out your house, but you also want to have it zoomed out enough that the edge of your, um, of your roof line is clear. And then you want to go to my video entitled Free Feng Shui Analysis, and that will explain how you measure your facing direction once you have a this um, photograph or the satellite map shown. 
the if you're within uh, I'm sorry if you're outside of two degrees of one of those red lines you should be fine um, if you're closer you're probably still fine but it's worth uh, looking into more and so this uh, the whole idea here is that if you're beyond uh, far, farther away than two degrees of one of those red lines you can be relaxed and know that your house is very very likely to be able to be cured with feng shui To be able to improve your feng shui, you really have to have stable charts because this is the heart of a lot of the cures in feng shui is that we are adjusting things that are on your charts. But if you're in between two directions, your chart keeps flipping or we really don't know what happens. Uh, there are some ways that some people have tried to adjust for this. But it's just better in general not to be in one of these houses for long periods of time unless you have really wonderful external landforms and you're doing very well and if that's the case you're probably not contacting me i wouldn't worry about that if that's true if you're doing well in the house you don't even need to talk to a feng shui practitioner but basically because we can't come up with good cures this is why you need a definitive facing direction and that is why I want one for your house. So please feel free to contact me if you have any questions, or you can visit my website to see more information about the services I offer and a couple videos that aren't available on YouTube. Thank you again.